Want to know how I can turn my Android phone into a DSLR monitor? Stay tuned. Hello guys, my name is James and for this Tech MNO Blitz video, I will show you how you can use your Android phone to monitor or control your DSLR cameras with some items you can use if your camera doesn't have any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth monitoring app. Here are the things you need in this DIY hack. First up, you need an Android phone. In this sample, I am using my daily driver phone, the Huawei P20 Lite. You also need a DSLR camera. The one I use here is my brother's DSLR camera, the Canon EOS 500D. This camera has a mini USB port on its features on the DSLR camera. Next is a USB OTG cable. The port will depend on your phone's charging port, either a micro USB or a USB-C port. In my P20 Lite, is a USB-A to USB-C OTG cable. Next up, a USB-A to mini USB cable. This is the cable we will use to transfer and to work our DIY hack. If you don't have one, you can buy online for less than $5 or 250 pesos. And finally, some other stuff like this one, a 1 4 inch screw mount to put our phone and the DSLR camera together in our tripod and our phone holder. You can also use a cold shoe mount to 1 4 inch screw attachment to the DSLR camera's hot shoe port. But unfortunately, the item I bought is not yet available as of this shooting, so I will use a mount as an alternative. Links of all the products I mentioned in the description box down below. On the software side of apps that we need to use, go to the Google Play Store and search for the DSLR controller app. The one I use here is from the developer Chainfire. However, the app is paid, so if you're looking for an alternative, you can check out the other one from Lecter Hansen. The links will also be in the description down below. Now, let's go back to our DIY hack. Once we downloaded the app, let's go ahead and insert the OTG cable to the USB-A to mini USB cable. Once it's inserted, put it on the phone's port, insert the other end to the DSLR, and then turn on the camera. Once it's open, the screen will have a pop-up window asking to allow the DSLR controller app to access the USB device automatically. Click the box saying use by default for this USB device and that's it for, use, for future use. And then click OK. And voila! Your Android phone has some controls on the screen and you can turn off the DSLR screen to monitor it on your phone. You can do click to focus, click to capture, adjust settings on the fly, and preview the latest photos you took. And the best part is you can get the photo from the camera and transfer it directly to the phone. How convenient is it? Just a quick note that some features may work or not on your DSLR camera, so read the app description for the list of DSLR cameras that are compatible with the app. And that wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you find this useful, share this video to your friends and family that have old DSLR cameras on their cabinets or drawers and make it useful with this DIY hack. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as the analytics will push this video and my other content to more people worldwide and follow me on my socials at TechMNO. Again, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.